Hello and welcome back, I'm Bebo and this is another tutorial for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Today I would like to get into a little more detail of what the problem is with the transfer function, this little thing over here on your line settings. When should you set it? When should you not set it? What happens when you do set it? I believe to first understand what the transfer setting is, we have to understand what the transfer set setting isn't or what you do without it. So let's look at our setup here. This is a very simple city. I just slapped it in here, nothing fancy about it. The only thing that matters is there's a bus station here, there's a bus station here, there's a bus station here. That's it. Nothing, nothing fancy going on here. Obviously, there is not much in range over on these stations over here there is a little bit in range of this station over here, which is um, the hospital and the fire station, right? So what happens? Well, this bus is here, completely empty right now, and there are some a number of workers and a number of passengers waiting here. Okay, we're not at full capacity on the station, yay. What will happen now? Well, this bus is effectively just going places. It has a route, and the passengers are not smart. By passengers, I mean everything that can go on a bus, not just the passengers waiting here. Please forgive me if I mix that up. But the citizens that can go on the bus just care about what they want. Let's look at one. This person. This person's, person's current demand is food, meat, electronics. All fulfilled. But drink alcohol is not fulfilled. So they couldn't fulfill it in the walking range from... These are the only residential buildings right here. They couldn't fulfill it, so they go to the um, bus station. It can be any station, it can be train, bus, metro, um, anything. They will go to the station and hope that they can fulfill it there. Well, as you can see, this person is currently waiting at the bus stop, right? And there's a bus just about to come in. Will this person jump on the bus? No, it will not. Why not? Because the bus currently does not have anywhere where it's going where the need that is, uh, the demand that is currently sitting here, drink alcohol, can be fulfilled. None of these two stations, and there's no alcohol even in built. There's nothing built for alcohol, so this person will not get on. Got it? Next person. This person um, is currently looking for sport and food. Well, it looks like this person went here because it wanted sport. The sport unit is right over here. It's possible that not every building is in range. As you can see, this building over here is not in range of, uh, of the sport, um, of, the, of the pool in this case. So what do people do? They, well, they can't find it in walking range, and then they go to the tr uh, bus station, just like the other guy, just like the guy that's looking for booze, goes to the bus station. At the bus station, um, they will reevaluate again. Can I get somewhere on a bus uh, to fulfill that need? Again, in this case, not really. Kind of, but not really, uh, because sport is in walking range over here. So the bus will not go there directly uh, to the station. So they probably won't get on the bus. They won't get on the bus, period. Um, but they will be able to walk there from the bus station after their one hour waiting time is up. And that is here, waiting on platform this is important. I always say that when I respond to uh, certain questions on Reddit or on Steam, have you followed your citizens around? This is what I mean. Click on the little icons and see what they want, where they go, and how their days go. And do that for like a week or so. Then you can understand the game. So, this person is not going to go anywhere. I did say this person probably lives here. Let's see if that is true. Home building. Uh, Donopro Flats 4. Huh, it's that building. So, no surprise there, right? Um, I hope that just established that I kind of know what I'm talking about in this case. So, what will happen now? These two guys are not going to get on the bus. Cool, we established that. Let's look at some workers. What does this person want? Just wants to work. Will this person get on the bus? This one is an interesting one because there's clearly work available. Um, there's some work here. There's some work there, there, there. there. There's work available. But um, they don't go to all the places right away. There's... In general, they will try to fulfill everything they need in walking range right away, but let's say a certain percentage, like 80 or 90% of people in the city will do that. But a small amount will still go to the bus station. Why do they go to the bus station? Uh, because they can go work from there afterwards too. And this, this is gets a little more like fuzzy uh, because I don't have a good map and a good explanation of why they do that. But as you can see, not every single work spot is, uh, is taken here. They are. Cool. Here, 
They aren't. There are police officers uh, wanted there. Here, there aren't. Doctors are wanted. Do we have enough educated people? I don't know. Um, over here, there are three... Okay, educated people is the problem. That's the math that I was missing there. Um, because the staff was probably full. There's only three people missing here. And all the other places that just require normal staff are full. So, it is not a percentage. Everyone will look for work right away. And then they will go to the bus station and wait there. So, this person is waiting here right now. Cool? Just some worker. It doesn't matter who it was. This person wants work. They wait at the bus station. Will this guy get on the bus? Yes. Yes, it will. Why? Because the setup currently allows for people from this bus stop right here to go to this work, this work, and this work. It doesn't matter anymore, and this was an update recently, that there is no current work available here. Back in the day, that was a little different, but the way the game works right now, um, people will still try to get to work, so the downtime is, uh, is lower. So, let, let's see if I'm uh, full of crap, or if I actually know what I'm talking about. Let's run this forward a little bit. Bus stops there. Workers get on. One passenger got on. Wow! I want to see what this passenger does. I will guess he wants health. <laughs> because that is the only building that has a demand that is in range. So, let's see. Click on this passenger. See what you want. You want to visit a doctor! Well! There you go. Uh, but no one else got on, right? No no one else that had other needs like drink, alcohol, and sports. So that's just trying to tell you what exactly happened. So this, the bus will go now. Uh, we'll go to the next station and we'll try to unload people. Let's, let's follow that bus. There you go. It got to here. The This guy got off. It's off the bus now. It's, where are you? No, you're, you're the prey guy. Where is... Uh, where, where's the guy that wanted what that wanted stuff he should be oh he, he has to be one of these guys there are three guys walking there <laughs> they're, they're so hard to see wow they, they just disappeared there are three guys walking right there um they're going to the hospital so i'm just trying to tell you people only get on the bus if there's a chance that they can fulfill whatever demand they have the demand can be work or anything in the current demand list right here and that's really it and that's the same for students and other, uh, other types of workers too, even tourists. So uh, that's what's happening here. A lot of workers got on this bus, but barely anyone got off. What is happening there? Okay. The thing that's happening here is all the workplaces are full. Right now, it probably a few workers got off and they are able to um, go to workplaces. Let's see what this one does. Oh, you only have one worker. That's not very helpful. You have 12 workers. That may work. Okay, you're gonna get off here. There are 12 workers. Let's see, is there any room here? One worker, okay. Is there any room here? No worker, okay. Is there any room here? No worker. So, it is very possible that we will see one worker leave, uh, leave, leave this bus here once we get off. One worker, ha! That was lucky, it doesn't always happen. Uh, but that worker is gonna try to go where that one spot was open just for a second. It already filled, but the game allows that anyway, so we should see that worker that just left here uh, going to the hospital. So, just trying to show you, people will only get on vehicles if there is a way to fulfill the demand they have. Okay? Um, now, there's one thing that you may say, and we're gonna we're gonna address that right now. What happens if we take out this bus stop from uh, from the thing? So, the say of bus stop. That's this guy. Let's go to the line. Let's turn off the say of bus stop. No loading and no unloading. Okay, and let's see what happens. Now, uh, and I um, I had to take both stations. There was one in the middle, uh, like one here, a second station on the fourth station was that station. But I had to remove both of them, otherwise I can't show you exactly what I'm talking about. Everything is still the same thing. Uh, there are people waiting here, they have all the same demands, and all that stuff is still true. Now, this bus is going to come in here, and is that bus going to pick up any workers, or any passengers, or anyone at all? No. No, that bus is not picking up any uh, anyone. Why is that? Because there is no more station besides the station that it's currently at, that's important, where anything happens. So this station is no longer reached by the buses, which means this is the only station in range. What is in walking range from there? Another bus stop. <laughs> that's it. So there's nothing people care about to get on this bus. And this is really important to understand the transfer functionality that we'll get into now. I'm sorry this is a long-winded explanation of what the transfer function does. But there's a new bus coming in, okay? What will this bus do? It will not pick up anyone, okay? What will happen if we turn on this little function over here? Well, 
Let's turn this on correctly for the whole line, otherwise I will get confused. Um, turn it on. Save it. Sounds good. What will this bus do now? Guess. It will fill up. 100%. Everyone that is at the station will get on this bus. Why? Why does everyone get on this bus when this bus was empty when we didn't have the uh, transfer function turned on? Very simple. The transfer function is a fake demand satisfier. That's the best way for me to describe it. All the demands that these people have, these citizens have, will be satisfied. That's not the right way to say it, but they will be satisfied because um, they have a goal to go to. And that it, it's a weird goal. I don't like how the game does this, but this is what the transfer function actually does. So people will go to the transfer uh, to the transfer station. What happens at the transfer station, you might ask? Let's see. Okay, we're about to hop out. What will happen? Uh, pretty simple. Everyone will get off the bus and will get into the bus stop, okay? Unloading, 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 stop. Okay, everyone got at the bus stop and they effectively are now a new citizen waiting at a bus stop again. And their wait time on the platform just reset to one hour because that's what it always is. Now here's the weird thing. If you have transfer on and it looks like this, the game will always unload first and then load. We just unloaded everyone because it's a transfer station. What do you think is happening next? They all get back on the bus. Only workers in this case, that's actually a little surprising. Um, and good to know because if passengers don't do that, that's actually a little helpful for other things down the road. But workers get back on the bus. And here's the thing, here's the why. Okay, it's not confusing. The next station is not a, um, Transfer, uh, transfer station, right? We, we can agree on that. These people, everyone that works here, probably looks for booze. Everyone that's sitting on here. I I would almost bet on that. You, or, booze or prey. Uh, and I'm not going to click on every single one. But the station that they're currently at is the transfer station. And there's nothing that can satisfy that need. The next station is... Um, well, the other station. And workers can actually find work there. Because there's work connected to it. But... These guys can't get on there because there's nowhere to go, right? Okay, I think we can agree on that weird logic, even though I, I stumbled across that a little bit. Now, if we change this and say this station also has to be a transfer station, then this becomes a <laughs> bad situation. It's the best way to describe it, I think, now. Let's hop on this bus and see what happens when you get to the station um, after the unloading. Okay, you unload. You also load. This one now loaded everyone again, which means people will just drive the bus back and forth without ever going anywhere because they stay at the station. They get unloaded uh, and loaded right away. So this is a really effective way to do that um, bus station hop that I told you about earlier um, too, where you could just tell everyone from here go there and everyone from here go there. Um, you could effectively extend the waiting time for citizens indefinitely um, this way. You don't have to do that anymore because now you can do the transfer and load at the same station and that resets everything. That reads that resets the total travel time, which is, oh, sorry. That resets the traveling in vehicle time, which is four hours. This is the hard limit. Once they reach that, they will teleport home. The total traveling time is a soft limit. That's just a number. You can ignore it. When they hit five hours, they're not going to uh, teleport home. They will continue doing the thing. Um, they may change that eventually, but right now that's still the same. So, should you use a transfer function? Only if you absolutely have to. There are reasons for it. Um, if you want to try a public transport system, you probably have to use it. But be aware of all these quirks. Turning on a transfer function will um, have fake demand satisfaction. That's dangerous because everyone will get on that vehicle. Nobody will stay at the bus stop. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes it isn't. Just be aware of that. Also, the transfer station should only unload, not load. If you need to load people at the transfer station, you're doing something wrong. Just make sure that you set it up in a way that makes sense. Uh, sometimes you just have to have multiple stations. Otherwise, that doesn't work. But having load and unload at the same station as a transfer station most likely results in your bus or your, or your vehicle transporting the same citizens again. 
uh, and just back and forth. So be aware of that. Doubling the transfer function will probably just mean your citizens will never get anywhere. That's probably not a good thing either. So I hope this helps someone. Um, I made a really longer, <laughs> I made a longer post in a comment of Joker L about this, and I felt like there was a lot more text than I wanted to write. So why not throw it out here as a quick tutorial? Quick. We're at 16 minutes. I'm sorry it took so long, but this is all you need to know about the transport system and the transfer functionality and what the problems with it are, if you have to use it, why, how, what. So, hope that helps someone. Um, I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.